In this video, I will show you how easy it is to set up a live stream directly from your drone to YouTube. If you're new around here, I'm Henrik Olsen, and if you want to improve your drone skills, learn about e-wheels, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I am back at the airstrip at the Verlöse airbase, where I tried to uh, live stream the other day to you guys. Um, today I want to do it uh, again, because I have significantly more battery than I had last time, and uh, I learned a few things doing that. So I thought I would share how uh, you set up a live stream, uh, so you don't run into the same problems that I had. First of all, you need to sort out your camera settings before you're flying. I was very low on battery, so I just put up the, the drone and uh, started going live without thinking about anything in the regards to, to the camera settings. And that was kind of stupid because the aperture was completely closed, it was dark in the evening, and I shot in D-Log. So everything looked muddy and uh, greasy, and it was hard for you guys to see anything of uh, what was going on. So. Before you even start live streaming, then sort out your camera settings. So I just want to go in and check that everything is like it should be. So I go in here and I would switch to normal. You can't grade the footage in a live stream. Of course you can, but not while it's live. So it's uh, pretty stupid to shoot in a flat color format. So there, therefore we need to go to normal. And then I want to make sure that uh, everything else is uh, set and uh, that my exposure compensation value is around zero. I have sunny in the, the white balance, that's also okay. Let's just jump in and see if the camera settings are okay. So, yes, uh, the aperture around uh, 2.8 to 4, that's fine. Uh, I put it in auto right now, yes. <laughs> I'm using a lot of auto lately. But it frees up time and energy to think about uh, what it is that you're actually filming uh, instead of messing with the camera settings. So now the camera is set, we can start setting up our live stream. And the way we do that is we go to the upper right corner here under the three dots. And then the first menu that you are being presented to, there's an option called select live broadcast platform. And if we take that, we can see all the available options uh, for live streaming. There are a few ones that I don't know. And of course I know Facebook. Uh, I'm not really sure if that one is working right now. What I know is it works if you want to stream for YouTube. So let's just select that one. Here you have a chance to sign in. So I just sign in with the, my standard Google uh, sign in. And I, because I've been signed in before, it's pretty easy. It just jumps directly in. Otherwise you need to uh, type in your credentials to get access to this menu. So now Tech Drone Media is logged in here and I have the option to press go live. So I press go live. And uh, now I need to add a title and a description to my live stream. So this is a test. And uh, I don't want to stream this live to the channel because uh, I just completed another live stream, so I don't want to add another one. So if you want it to go live directly on the channel for everybody to see, you need to choose public. But you also have the chance, if you just want to mess around and practice, to do it as an unlisted video. In that way, it's only people with the link that can see what's actually being streamed. And that might be good, at least for the first couple of times, to try it that way. Then at least you can evaluate the result and see if that is something that you need to improve. All right, so I press done. I take away the keyboard and then I will press go live. And then it will shift to another screen where it will start the encoding service. And that will take a while. Ah, it was actually pretty fast. And of course, you need to make sure that you have really good reception uh, in the area. If you're live streaming 1080p, it requires some bandwidth to do that. So the next step is to start the encoder. So when I do that, it says oh, update status success, and then it will prepare the stream. And that also takes a little while. I think it needs to communicate with uh, YouTube to figure out the right settings. And once that turns red, I can just press it and go live. So I will press it, start streaming. And what you will see now, it says it confirms with update status success. And in the upper left corner here, you can see there's a symbol that shows that it's actually streaming right now. It says it's live and it streams with 24 frames per second. So now we're basically ready. And the cool part here is that you can operate the drone exactly like uh, you would do normally. You don't even need to think about that it's uh, live. One thing that you do need to be aware of is incoming calls for your phone that will interrupt the live stream. At least that's my uh, sort of uh, theory because that's what I experienced the other day when I tried streaming out here. Let's uh, get the drone airborne. And this is uh, the nice airstrip that's out here on, um, on the field here. We're doing the live stream and you might notice that the electric unicycle is over there. So uh, let's just, for the fun of it, just do um, 
an active track round. So if I go over here and pick up the unicycle, oops, let's turn it the right way, like that. I can do like a profile if, you, if I want to, like that. Just tap me. So it's pretty brilliant that you can do stuff like this while you're live streaming because that opens up a lot of possibilities to do some uh, pretty nice and neat stuff uh, with your drone. So it's not all about just flying around. You can show stuff. So let's just try and see if it can follow me back. Sorry about the wind. So you can see there's a lot of options with this. You, you, have, you can decide to fly around and show off stuff, or you can, uh, I don't know, go to a skate park and uh, live stream for that as well and show what, uh, what you're good at. Show your stuff with the hand. Like that. Works pretty sweet every time. <laughs> so now we are perfectly happy with our live stream and we don't want to live stream anymore. So uh, the next step is uh, to stop the live stream. And we do that by uh, tapping uh, the live icon in the upper left corner here. And I have the option now to stop the live stream. It says close live stream, YouTube, YouTube live stream. Yes, we want to do that. That stops the live stream and the video is now stored in your video archive on YouTube. So you could publish it later as a video or unpublish it if it was a disaster. <laughs> That's also an option. So that is how easy it is to set up a live stream from your drone. And I guess this will work with more or less all the DJI products out there. So uh, I hope that uh, you found this uh, video useful. If so, then give it a like. If you didn't like it, then feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.